like to know Huawei is selling cars. China, the sleeping giant in the global economy. We are diving in into one of the most exciting story in the global economy. China, as the second largest economy in the world, renowned for its large population and well known as the international manufacturing power hub. Behind me is this bird nest, the national stadium of China located in Beijing. This is one of the most iconic buildings in China and it was known to the world that China is capable of building such beautiful, very advanced architecture when they organized this Olympic in 2008. It really opened the eyes of the world. Who is winning? Apple or Huawei? Apple has smartphone but doesn't have electric car. But Huawei has their own smartphones and electric cars. I think China is like a sleeping giant and it is now awakening because of its advantage of the large population that contribute to the affordable and skilled labor force and also its innovation in the tech space. And why is it called a sleeping giant? It simply means that it has a lot of potential, a lot of power that is not yet fully unleashed to show to the world. As my experience of visiting China for the first time, so far all the taxis that I use are electric vehicles manufactured locally with their own brands. This proves that uh, China is able to produce uh, its own products on par with the international brands like Tesla. This is why I think that China has a lot of potential that can learn very fast and able to skill up their production. So they have very efficient supply chain compared to uh, any part of the world. Which is why most of the international brands like uh, Tesla or Adidas, Nike and Apple, they set up their manufacturing plants in China to take advantage of this cost-efficient supply chain, affordable and skilled labels. Then of course, China also takes advantage to learn the skill from those companies, to learn the technology and they are able to uh, produce more, even more advanced features. We pass by some famous spot like the Wang Fuzing uh, shopping, we are able to see the international brands like Huawei, which is a smartphone option that prefer, actually many people are using and it's very competitive compared to Apple nowadays. And we also pass by the Xiaomi, they are producing their uh, electric car. The look is amazing, like supercar based on what X say. Check this out. Just click button. And look at that wood space. So deep. Then you click this button here. Good. It is really very advanced uh, to have such product and low price point for, for many others. So this is why China continue to be competitive. One of our friends, Arthur, if you are listening to this, he used to say China may not able to create something yeah, from yeah. zero to one. But once it learns how to create one, it able to manufacturers from one to one hundred so they can speed up the production at a very cost efficient way so which is why once China able to learn how to do something from the international company they can produce themselves they can be self-sufficient self-sustained uh, its economy of course it is not a smooth sailing uh, for China economy as we can see Due to the geopolitical tension, its aging demographic and also the slowdown economy uh, in the past few years because of the real estate sector, we can see that the government is now trying to help and boost the economy by injecting up $1.4 trillion into the economy. China is opening its borders since late 2020. 
free for people from Malaysian and Singaporean no longer require visa to visit this country which is why we are here to visit the country for the first time we are really amazed by the technology the Alipay house seamless and multi-purpose of the app uh, it's not only for payment system but it also allows us to purchase SIM card allow us to take public transport or to rent the bicycle and also allow us to take the taxi, the DD. All the restaurants that we went in nowadays, they do not accept cash. We need to use a QR code. We use the Alipay to scan and order online, which is amazing and very efficient compared to where we came from. So, which is why we feel like China is really living in the future compared to some of the country that still depends on the cash economy. And I'm talking to you, Japan. Show me the QR code. Passport. China is not only serving as the manufacturer base, but uh, as we see, they have their own brands that already stand out in the international stage, like Xiaomi, Huawei, uh, BYD. They are selling a lot uh, of this electronic smartphone and electric car in the European and US competing directly with Apple and Tesla. Not only electronic products but consumer products like the shoes that we wear, the sneakers, like they have their own brand like Mimi and Anta are competing with those brands like Nike and Adidas. And of course, even though Adidas is uh, from the US, uh, their manufacturer, main manufacturing uh, base is in China itself and therefore uh, we realize there are a lot of version uh, of the Adidas sneaker are uh, only available in this country. So if you really want to collect those versions, you have to visit this uh, country to find out yourself because most of the Adidas shoes uh, sell overseas more, most likely are manufactured outside of China like in Indonesia. So other than the electronics and sneakers that uh, we mentioned, one of the things that I like China is the Mumu apps and the Tiger Brokers that actually most Singaporean or Malaysian are using to purchase shares. So I will put my referral link below if you want to start your investing journey. Okay, that's all from me. If you have any fun fact uh, or interesting points, uh, please comment below. We would like to discuss more um, and we may come to this country again. If you like this video and find this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel as we will continue continue to post a more video. Thank you. Enjoy the view. Yeah, so this is the Olympic Stadium, the Bird Nest Stadium in Beijing. I remember in 2008, uh, this guy called Usain Bolt, he made the first 100 meter dash below 10 seconds, 9, 9.64 seconds I think, the Olympic world record. So it was made here in this stadium so that's a cool fun fact bye bye please subscribe